Well, good evening. Uh, following on from our last series of shootings, we'll remember we had a look at a whole series of different types of material. I'll get to what's below me in a second. Perspex, steel, thin gauge aluminium, thin rubber, even leather, polycarbonate, this stuff. And there was a lot of good lessons from it, namely things like aluminium being kind of rubbish, but deforming well, but actually weighing very little. Um, and then when we came to look at how panels deformed when they were shot in multiple, we could see that if we could resist somehow the spread from the round traveling through, we could take some energy out of it. We tried using some ceramics before, and whilst they don't really absorb energy so much as break up the projectile, they had not worked out very well. This fella, half millimeter steel, had worked out the best along with polycarbonate. But I'm trying to get to a point where I don't want to use metal or as if I'm using as little metal as possible. But having said that, we have a section of steel plates. These ones are cut slightly larger. The last ones are all cut 76 millimeter square. These ones are all cut 100 millimeter square to make sure I get more body hits. These are only clamped together because they're springy and bounce all over the place. We have a whole slew of those I've cut. That's taken forever. New materials we'll be using. We have fiberglass cloth. Everything here is going to be commercially available or readily available. That's my goal. I don't want to have to like order something special or weird because that's not really playing fair. And then we have rubber. So we've gone from thin rubber to we're going to use some real chunky material here. This is 10 millimeter thick hard pressed car tire and we have a lot of this material oh, lots and lots of it i've got like 40 slices of that so we can make some nice samples out of this then we have some metal uh, this is um decent grade aluminium uh, this will need cut into 100 millimeter squares as well uh, and as you can see, I uh, started preparing that already. Just got to cut this out. So we've got some nice stiff metal tiles. Then we're going to have some aggregate mix. <clears throat> we want to try and work on that ceramic element again, breaking up the round. And from my research, we've got two options here, both readily available. Um, I've got some granite as well. I'm probably going to try and break up to get the right bit. We need a piece about the same size or slightly larger than the round we're trying to defeat. So these little tiddly ones, those are going to be no use. This is apparently some kind of harder, um, looks like limestone actually. Hopefully harder than bloody limestone. This, however, this is quartz. So this is the hardest one I could find in about the right size. So we're going to end up with, this is our soft. This is our quartz, and then we'll have some granite chunks as well. And we're going to work back towards this sort of element. So if you remember these blocks, these were the blocks with nails inside, backed with polycarbonate. And the polycarbonate worked well. Nails did not. And it's taken a while to sort of work through it and rationalize what's gone on because these nails are masonry nails. They're incredibly hard. The aluminium nails failed just as badly, but were lighter. So why did this blast out? This is all fiberglass. And I think the answer has to boil down to the fiberglass has got very little fiber in it. It's small, thin, weedy little bit. I don't know if you can even see that. Just between my finger and the edge there. Let's get this to the camera. You can barely see it. Thinner than a human hair. So we're going to redo this kind of panel because this, I, I genuinely believe this is going to uh, produce some better effects. We're going to leave out the nails because as I say, I'm trying to get away from metal if I can, because it's less interesting. And we're going to this longer, heavier duty glass, longer strand should spread the load um, more evenly. And we're not going to set them in fiberglass. I'm going to try, we're going to stick them in some epoxy resin. 
then we're going to wrap that up. So what we should end up with is a panel similar to this, obviously larger, containing multiple samples of these, wrapped in glass, and then backed with, or faced with, or laminated with, in a way I haven't quite decided yet, with these heavy duty rubber panels. And we're gonna cast these blocks in a little mold shoe I made, so we can cast these uh, 100 millimeter blocks in there and I can compress those as well as we're going. So that's the progress update for now and just under six minutes. Uh, stay tuned. I will get to this as soon as my other business uh, allows me. Thank you very much.